In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up alerts within the Market Analyzer window. Uh, now, assuming that you already have a your your workspace set up something similar to this, uh, I have the this template loaded right here, which has multiple time frames showing here. Um, now, in this case, like one one particular example of an alert that you might want to set is when it uh, a T bar forms. That's when uh, price actually hits the edge of, of our, our potential reversal area right there. Um, now I, in order to see exactly what the, um, the codes are that we're looking for in order to set up our alerts, first I'm just going to go to columns and just click on one of these status, uh, status columns here. Scroll all the way to the bottom and look at the conditions here. So this is what's going on behind the scenes. So if this is a code zero, then there's nothing there. If it's a code one, potential pattern, code two, code three, code four, hit the T1, T2, T3. So this is what's going on behind the scenes in order to make the status column appear the way it does. Now, what's important here is these, these numbers here. So for example, if we're wanting to set an alert for, um, you know, T-bar. So that's number three. So we'll, we'll remember that for a second. We'll right click again within our market analyzer window, go up to alerts, come up here, and we're going to set an alert for, for example, um, we'll say the five minute, um, we'll say, you know, five minute T-bar hit and apply this to all, meaning everything in our our list there uh, like to rearm on condition reversed which basically means that it will rearm itself after it uh, you know a t-bar is is formed and then it, it, it turns to something else and then if, it, if another t-bar forms in the future it will out, output that as well because what you're kind of expecting it to do is to uh, not not turn itself off um, Okay, now the conditions. So we're looking at the status of the five minute. We want that to equal, scroll this down here, to a numeric value of three. This is that three that we thought of, that we made note of earlier. So that is, is that, that there. Now what do we want the message to, to appear in our alert window? Uh, this name, this at name, refers to whatever you set up here. So five minute T-bar hit, and then say you want it to use a little drop down here to say the instrument. So it'll say five minute T-bar hit, uh, Aussie dollar, or whatever. And you can, you can set the way that the appearance of this alert in the alert window. And then if you wanted to do something else, for example, you can have it play a sound. Uh, and I'll choose, you know, choose a, whatever, whichever wave file you would like there. And then, it apply. Now, one thing that uh, I didn't bring up is an actual alert window. So if you go to your control panel here, control center, go to new alerts log, and now we have a window that shows um, that we have some alerts here. Um, now these, when I hit OK and apply earlier, it's it, it triggered these these alerts here showing that there is that you know T bar was hit on the Aussie dollar and and we see that that is true uh, on the Aussie dollar here that there was a, a T bar here. Um, now what we only we only set it up for the five minute uh, situation here. So I can right click again, go back to alerts, and just repeat that process for. Uh, each time frame that we have in our um, in our market analyzer window here. So I'm going to create a new one. Um, I'm going to say um, 30 minute 30 minute uh, T bar hit. Apply to everything in the list. Condition reversed. Add. Now this time I'm going to click on the status on the 30 minute. That's the, that's the input that we're going to look at. If it equals a numeric value of three, hit OK. Now, same thing here. 
uh, remove that triggered and add the instrument name. Again, you can set this up however you'd like. Uh, and then in action, you can you, you don't have to do anything here. You can just have it uh, just output something into this window, and you, and that that would be enough. Or play you can play have it play a different sound, or you can create custom uh, wave files for uh, different situations. If if it's a five minute versus a thirty minute, you wanted to play a different sound, you can you can set those up as such. So hit OK. Now a bunch of uh, alerts formed because I you know we just uh, we just triggered it, um, and so we see here it alerted us again of the five minute. And it alerted us of the Aussie dollar 30 minute. I'll expand this over a little bit here. The 30 minute on the Aussie dollar and the 30 minute on the euro. And we see those right here. We see the, the, the euro and the Aussie dollar on the 30 minute both hit the T bar as well as the, um, the Aussie dollar on the five minute. And so the, those, those alerts appeared there. Now, another common thing that, that a lot of traders like to do is have it when alert fires for it to send you an email as well. So to set that up, just go back to your control center, go to tools, go down to options, and then go to share services because you want to be able to share with an email. Uh, it has a few uh, built-in uh, type options here. You can go to email here and say, all right, this is going to be, you know, um, my uh, alert email account and the connection now this is this is dependent on the type of email address that you're using if you're using a gmail account it is smtp.gmail.com you leave that as as is right there on the port as being 25 and then uh, again this depends on your your email provider you have to kind of look for that uh, with specific for, for your email but uh, typically you can connect check both of these enter in your email address. Uh, if it's a Gmail account, it's probably uh, the same as your actual email. So uh, for example, I can enter, enter my email address, which is my username is the same. Um, enter in my password and then hit OK. Now if we set up that share service, now if we go back here, move this away, Go back into our alerts again, and now one of the actions that we can have it take is to, to share a message. So click on message. We want to share it to, uh, you can set that, that alert email account that we created just, just a moment ago. Hit OK. Uh, you can have it actually attach a screenshot of it to, um, if you'd like, uh, have it what you want the, the text of the message to be, uh, etc. If you wanted to send it to a, a different email address, I typically, whatever account I set up here is typically the same email address I set up here. And, and then, so I'll just go ahead and put that there. Um, say this is a five minute alert and hit OK. Now you can see here now it will add to our alert list over here. It'll play a sound and it'll send us an email. So as you can see there's a lot of options here and a lot of things you can kind of tweak to your own to your own needs. Uh, and it's a matter of a matter of repeating the process for each of the, the time frames or whatever whatever you're trying to set an alert for. Well, I hope that uh, helps explain how to set those up. If you have any problems, please email me at daniel at updown.com. That's U-P-P-D-N-N dot com. Uh, and best success in your trading.